the first alert weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Might be a great night to pull out the grill. Perfect day for that. Yesterday was uh, ideal. Today, equally pleasant, Jeff. So really a very nice day. Not as warm as yesterday, but still just incredibly pleasant to be out and about to, to enjoy a day of pleasant, quiet, and mild sunshine. Uh, the winds have been a little breezier today at times, not overpowering, but uh, those associated with the weak cold front that has moved through, they've turned now to the northwest. But in time, over the next few hours, they will continue to subside. The skies remain bright and sunny, and we'll tack on a few more degrees. We've made it to the 60s in most spots in the past few minutes. Here's the current scene from some of our Lewis Auto live cameras. Current imagery showing a lot of blue sky overhead, a lot of low 60s on the map. And by day's end, we'll be in the mid and upper 60s. At the airport in Rochester, 60 degrees already. Again, the number to watch today is 67. That's the record set back in 1990. Yesterday we had a record of 74 degrees shattering the previous record. I think today will be a little closer, but I think we'll do well in that regard, though. 60 in Mason City, 59 in Owatonna, Red Wing 59. Right now, a hit of a northwest breeze. It's slowly diminishing. At one point, it was closer to 21 miles per hour, now down to 10. Our air pressure is rising 2974. So the numbers to watch again, mostly uh, closer to 70. Upper 60s, low 70s. Our forecast high temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. So a couple spots will uh, get there. Uh, some will just get really close to the record. I think Rochester will be matching that. Austin, I do think, will be setting a record here in a few hours. Just a few thin cirrus clouds overhead. Aside from that, just a mostly sunny day. A weak cold front moving through. And it's by the what we're talking about, weak front, there really isn't a lot of really cold air behind this uh, push of cold air uh, behind uh, that uh, cold front and the high pressure coming in. All the, the abundance of sunshine will help offset that slightly cooler air that's coming in. So we'll still manage to work our way up the ladder a little bit into the mid and upper 60s. 60 at the airport, 65 in Des Moines. Meanwhile, 50s up north. All these numbers are still incredibly warm for this time of the year. Even the 40s are abnormally mild, the ones in up in uh, North Dakota, because normally it'd be in the 30s this time of the year for high temperature. At this hour of the day, not even typically that warm. But here we are, another April or May-like day. 60s today and tomorrow. Rain by Thursday. That'll be the wettest day of the week. Then maybe some snow chances as we approach the weekend with some breezy conditions and just a couple of uh, pesky showers here and there in the coming days. Nothing like that today, though. A diminishing breeze, tons of sunshine. Temperatures in the 60s on future track. We'll drop to the 30s tonight. And then tomorrow, sun and then gathering clouds coming in for the west, uh, making for uh, overall still a pleasant day. Uh, temperatures in the 60s tomorrow. Late tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, we begin to see some showers working their way in. And yes, even some rumbles of thunder will be possible. Some thunderstorms with this upcoming system, not severe weather, but don't be surprised if you hear a clap of thunder on Thursday as that slightly cooler air loft sinks southward. And eventually, maybe a, a shot of snow shower activity or flurries by early Friday morning. And a reinforcing shot of cold air comes between Saturday and Sunday. And see the results by the time we get to Sunday. Highs only in the 30s as we begin to feel uh, more March-like in the coming days. And there'll be some rain chances coming in on uh, Thursday with spotty snow showers early Friday and then a bit of rain or snow. Uh, very sparse activity Saturday and Sunday. Today, pretty benign day and a mild day and a near record day. Look for high of 67, mostly sunny. Northwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy, 36 tonight with a light northeast breeze. And tomorrow, just a hint of an east wind, 64 gathering clouds in the afternoon. Maybe a spotty shower by tomorrow evening. Better chance of rain Thursday. We could see a decent amount of rain, maybe a quarter inch in some spots. And then we'll have sparse hit or miss rain and snow showers between Friday and Sunday as things get progressively breezier and colder. And yes, you knew it would come eventually. March weather comes here just in time, unfortunately. For St. Patrick's Day, that may be one of the coldest days of the entire month, actually colder than average on Sunday. Yeah, it's ironic that the pot of gold is showing up on that day of the forecast. <laughs> Strange, I know. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> right. Thank you, Ted.